Hello and welcome back to another 3D printing related video. What's this? Two 3D printing videos in a row in the same week? Madness! A guy named Vadron reached out to me over on my Facebook page, you can find the link to that down in the video description, and asked me if I could take a look at an app called Tinkerplay. Tinkerplay is an app made by a company called Autodesk 123D. It's available for a bunch of different platforms, both mobile and desktop. And essentially what it does is it allows you to go in using a very easy to use GUI environment and create characters on the fly. Now the grand majority of the parts they have available are for humanoid type characters, but they do have some additional ones in there for things like a scorpion, or you could even take the parts from the scorpion and put it onto a humanoid figure or put humanoid parts onto a scorpion type figure. I know there's a bunch of different things you can do with it. And for the most part, the entire interface is sort of tablet style. So it, whether you be on a tablet or on a desktop, you're able to just very quickly and easily drag and drop whatever you want to do. You can select the colors, you can put backdrops and everything in it. If you just want to create a 3D scene and take screenshots of it. So what I ended up doing was I took the stock character, I changed the head on it, I changed the colors on it, I did a little bit of moving around of it, and I just wanted to play around with the software a little bit and see what it was capable of doing. And when it's all said and done, once you've got your character ready to go, you hit the little export button, you give it some specifics about the printer that you want to print it out on, and then you download the files. It can either set up a web server running on your machine or on your tablet or phone, or you use the download directory. And I'm just taking another quick look at the app just to make sure I'm looking at everything right. And there's actually eight different characters. There's even different weapons and different accessories that you can include with the character. So there's a decent amount of fun stuff you can do with this app. But like I said, when you hit the print button, it gives you these little options. It shows you what it's actually going to be printing out. It puts the different colors onto different plates. It tells you about how long it should take to print using a standard printer if you printed them in this configuration and how much filament it would use. And like I said, there's a little section where you can specify your printer information and the output. Now web browser download that it offers is going to give you the ability to start up a web server on your machine or on your tablet. There's the MakerBot Cloud Library, Dropbox, Google Drive, Autodesk, and then of course there's the ability to actually download it straight to your machine if you're doing it on a desktop. Now as I mentioned, based on the colors, you get little palettes that it says it's going to print out and it gives you a certain amount of time. Unfortunately, whenever I actually downloaded it all on my desktop, it just gave me a directory full of STL files. Now that's both good and bad. It's good in the sense that if you're using a slicing program, something like Cura, you can actually bring all of them in at once, set your palette up the way that you like it, hit print and just walk away from it. In my case though, I'm using a smaller printer, I'm using the M3D and the M3D software does one STL file at a time. I realized I probably could have taken all of the little files into Cura, made one big STL from it and then exported it and done it all at once, but I didn't. So I ended up printing it out one piece at a time and I was using the ABS plastic, hoping for something that was a little more solid, a little more rigid and hours and hours and days later, I finally came up with this. This is the little guy that I designed using the Tinker Play software, and it's essentially all of the stock parts that you're given for a stock character, but with the samurai head on top, because I thought that looked kind of cool. After looking at all of the other potential figures you can do, I'm very tempted to go back and look at them. If nothing else, to look at some of the accessories, to look at some of the other characters you can make, and maybe go back and actually try to print a lot of things on one plate, because doing them one at a time was not a smart idea. Each part took between an hour or two hours, and the larger parts like the helmet and the chest took, like I said, two to three hours. So we're talking lots and lots of time invested. Yeah, there's 15 parts on this. So imagine between 15 and 30 hours invested to make this happen. And it is a very cool little thing. I'm not gonna say that this is an absolutely great toy because if you just barely touch it, it comes apart. It is, however, sort of posable. You can move things around a little bit and put him into a bit of a, a like a walking pose or, you know, you can move all the little joints, the, the little points of articulation. And I would assume different characters, different models might have a little bit more to them than this. But still, this was a nice first step into character creation, into seeing what you can do with a printer and seeing how you can make these action figures. So thanks so much to Vedran for pointing that out. Like I said, I'm going to be spending some more time in this and I would definitely recommend if you do have a 3D printer, going ahead and taking a look at it because it just produces STL files that you can print out on pretty much any 3D printer. So it's compatible with pretty much anything. It doesn't print directly to the printer so it is one additional step but it was a lot of fun and just getting this chance to have everything that kind of snaps together pretty easily was kind of nice if there's anything else that you'd like to see me talk about make sure to let me know down in the comment section below remember if you like this video hit the thumbs up down below the video subscribe to receive more content whenever it becomes available and i'll see you again next time say bye 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 bye